With the launch of Black Ops 6 Zombies getting really, really close now, I wanted to go over the things that I'm most excited about going into this game because there's a lot of things that just got me really hyped for this game, but these are like the top ones out of everything. But I also love to hear what you guys are super excited about for this game. Head down to the comment section, let me know, and hey, while you're there, you might as well drop a like on the video and subscribe if you ain't already. And with that said, let's get into this video. So the first and thing I'm most excited about for this game is that we're going to have two main Easter eggs on launch, but not only to solve, but then to eventually speedrun and just get perfect at it and just have fun with. Like that's something I really, really think is underrated about this game because we all already know about Terminus. The map looks amazing. The main Easter egg is rumored to be very, very insane or been told to us by Treyarch directly, I guess. But either way, that one looks insane. We all already know about that. But even Liberty Falls with its shortcomings that its atmosphere is really lacking and it also not having a set crew and play as operators like those are some huge problems with that map. But something that I don't think people give the map credit for is that it's going to have a fully fleshed out main Easter egg like that's something this map is going to have like that's not something that happens the second launch map never has a main easter egg the only time that's ever happened before is with black ops 4 but there was like four maps on launch and on top of that it didn't have a campaign so that's the reason that was the case but if you look at all the other ones like you look at black ops 3 the giant that didn't have a main easter egg or even black ops 2 with nuketown no easter egg like this is something that just doesn't happen and should be appreciated for liberty falls i'm really excited to hunt for both of these main easter eggs and also just get really good at them and have fun with with them now the next thing i'm also really excited for is going to be the augment system this looks so cool and i actually made a video going over all 108 different augments you guys can check that out if you guys haven't already i'll link it on screen but regardless this system just looks like it's going to add so much to the game not only strategy but also an extra level of progression now obviously the strategy here is pretty cool because each perk fill upgrade and ammo mod is going to have three major augments and three minor augments and you can only choose one between all of them but but that's actually really cool because now you'll be able to strategize just not based on your play style obviously ones you prefer but also there's going to be a level of like when you're playing the game like obviously you're going to sometimes want different augments based on if you're going for a speed run or if you're just trying to get to high rounds and that's something i like an extra level of strategy that's mixed into all of that and i love that and not only that it actually adds the extra level of progression in zombies because now for every single item you have to research all of these items in order to unlock their augments and that's something i think is really really cool because it just doesn't stop at just leveling up your guns or whatever it may be you still level up all your augments now obviously eventually you're going to finish with all of those and that progression is going to end but at least it'll be fun for the first couple of weeks or months however long it takes you to do it now the next thing i'm most excited for is the story this is so cool like I've never really been like super excited for the Dark Ether story until going to Black Ops 6. Because don't get me wrong, at the end of Cold War, it set up a lot of cool ideas, but just the build up to Black Ops 6, especially that Liberty Falls intro cutscene, like, oh my gosh, I haven't been this excited for the zombie storyline in like five, six years. It's insane. Like, I'm actually really hyped. And like, there's so many questions to think of. There's like, obviously the big ones with Rick Toffin and Project Janus, that are even Rick Toffin's son, who seems to be still alive. But there's also like with Samantha and her her memories like is she ever going to remember her past in the old universe or what's going on with her and McToffin? what are they fighting with like what's going on there and also with her in the dark ether now that the forsaken's there like who's running the dark ether is it samantha now or have the dark ether entities retaken over and then there's even with weaver like what's going on with him he seems to have this secret knowledge that he just really shouldn't have but he has it nonetheless like so many different question ideas that i actually made a whole video going over all of them i'll link on screen now it's a great watch click on it check it out after this one now, the next big one has to be a new feature, and this is the save feature. Like, I am so just excited for this because this is just the single best quality of life feature that has ever been added to a Call of Duty Zombies game. Like, I can just think of so many examples. Like, obviously, the big one is, like, if you're in the middle of a Zombies game, pretty deep into it, and all of a sudden something comes up, you have to leave. Like, you know, that sucks. Or even the backup feature that in your middle of a game, all of a sudden your internet cuts out, your game crashes. Well, guess what? It's actually going to have a backup save for you. Like, that is amazing already. But the reason I think I want to love this feature more than anything, because of something that always happened to me while I was playing Zombies, when I'm in the middle of a solo game, and I'm pretty deep into it, and and all of a sudden my friend hits me up and says hey you want to jump on the game we could play and normally i'm just rather have to brush them off and say hey wait till i'm done with this game it's still going to be like 30 40 minutes or i'm just going to have to lose all my progress in that game but not anymore i just save and quit 
and I could join, play them, have fun playing with them, and then some other time come back and finish my solo game. Like that is just such a cool quality of life feature that I can't stop talking about. I think we all already know how amazing it is, but I just gotta keep praising Treyarch for that one because that is amazing. Now, another one that I wanna talk about is actually the Gobblegums returning. Like, this system is already cool because I love the Gobblegums in Black Ops 3 Zombies. I thought they made the game a lot more replayable because they let you play the game in so many different ways based on which combinations of Gobblegums you had. And obviously, some cool things are, are the changes because we already know like why we like Gobblegums, so I'm not going to go over that. But instead, I want to focus on the changes here. And one of them is just how they work because now the Gobblegum machine is going to be free and, and bases on a cooldown now instead of just based on pain more and more to get more gobblegums that same round but that's actually made up because you can actually hold up the three gobblegums and strategically use them whenever you want you don't have to use them the second you get them out of the gobblegum machine you could save and even use a combination of gobblegums at the same time and that is so cool i think that's going to set up for a lot of crazy different things you could do for the game like i don't think people are really understanding how cool that is and how big of a change that is to the gobblegum system but another thing with this gobblegum system is another level of progression just like with the augments because how you earn gobblegums in this game is just by playing the game and every few rounds if it's similar to like what we saw in cold war with the crystal system it could be every 10 or 5 rounds something like that you'll earn a random gobblegum and that's a really cool way of getting them just by playing the game is going to get you more and more gobblegums now i just hope it works out fairly enough and it's not like a pain or anything to grind through all of them and if so this could be a ton of fun and just another level of progression and another reason to get on and play the game and something i love about this is that you could be doing this at the same time that you're researching your augment so you could be killing two birds with one stone and even potentially three with the next thing we're going to talk about the camos because this is a system that I actually absolutely loved in cold war zombies just the camo grind to get dark ether in that game was a ton of fun and i'm actually looking so much forward to that in this game too now obviously this is the last thing i'm going to do with all this i'm going to be you know doing the main easter eggs and all that but once that's all settled then we can move on to working on the camos and the camo grinds even going to be better in this game compared to cold war one of the main reasons why is because you no longer have to level up your guns in order to work on camos you can work on them the second you pick up that gun and that's a great change i absolutely love that and also it's been kind of suggested it's not confirmed but the challenges might be a little bit better in this game compared to cold war but that's yet to be seen and really what i love about this is that you're actually going to be able to be working on like three things at once like instead of just working on researching and leveling up your augments you could be doing that well, you're grinding for gobblegums as you go through the rounds, but at the same time, you could be using a specific gun and working on the camo for it. And that's something I really think I'm going to love about this game is that there's three levels of progression that you could be working on at the same time between the augments, gobblegums, and camos. And that's something I'm really looking forward to, just grinding that stuff out. And those are the things I'm most excited for for this game. And I'd love to hear what you guys think about them too. But that's about it for me. And Hopefully, after this video, you guys are just as excited for Black Ops 6 as I am. But regardless, that's going to wrap it up for me, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.